Because these are stories that we've either gathered from people firsthand or stories that have been inspired by our experience over there and we have therefore created these stories as a reflection of you know, who we met and what we saw. So the stories that we tell, they're truthful mm. and authentic to what we were given, but we sort of rendered them and added our own sort of creative style to them. So this one I'm going to start off with, um, this is very, very much inspired by meeting Zaid Halal. I've just met him four times in my life, but within that period of, I don't know, four times, perhaps no more than 10 days, 12 days, I've got to know him very, very well. We still keep in touch very uh, regularly by telephone conversations to keep up. This is called, And He Said, I Feel Peace. His father was taken in the night and still he showed you his dignity. His 20 mile drive took four hours. His freedom was scrutinized and still he sang you his song. His shopping trip was cancelled by lingering fear. His car impounded. His newfound love interrogated. And still he thanked you for your feelings. His every day was burdened with threat. His father was held on the floor, his name stolen and replaced by indifference. And still his eyes smiled when he saw your joy. His money was taken to pay for their crime, his health affected, his mind infected. His newfound love turned away. And still he offered you his open hand. His arm pointed to the beach by the sea. His arm pointed to the prison of Gaza you could not see. His existence was plagued with conflict. And still he searched for the truth in the perspective of others. His town was closed and locked away. His father kicked by their boots. His human rights ignored. And still he believed that small changes can make a difference. His hope was crushed by refusal, his concert interrupted by gun-wielding soldiers. And you sat together in the green of your garden. And he looked at you and said, I feel peace.